1,200 customers still in the dark tonight. It's been 48 hours since a line of severe storms blew through the area, knocking down power lines and trees. We Energy's crews have been working around the clock just to get the lights back on. They tell us most of the outages right now are in Brookfield, Pewaukee, and Waukesha, and they hope to have everyone back online by 11 o'clock this evening. New at 6, WISN 12 News' Nick Board joins us live from Brookfield, where they are still without power. Nick. All right, Craig, this area just a little bit north of North Avenue along uh, Brookfield Road. You can see the We Energy's crews, uh, their trucks at least lined up here, and you can barely see them. They're through the woods way back there working right now, even in what is now rain as well. And yes, the residents here say it's getting a little old. Often the toughest repairs have to wait for last because they're so time consuming. That's the dilemma facing residents still without power two days after the storm blew through. Well, we've been 48 hours now without power, so it's getting to be a bit of a hassle. Doug Lindbergh is new to the neighborhood. Until recently, his family lived in Nepal, where power outages are routine. Not so much here. We have a five and a two year old, and um, our five year old couldn't have been happier that it was out. She was asking the next morning if it would be out again that night. So. But um, the laundry and dishes pile up, and uh, gets to be gets to be kind of frustrating. So we had one early in our marriage down here, and uh, that took 13 trees out of my front yard. The neighborhood veteran Roy Edelman can see exactly why he doesn't have power with trees down across the lines in his backyard. His neighbor with a generator is helping out. Well, you cope. You know, I'm borrowing water from next door because I don't have water, and. Uh, I've got power to power my refrigerator so my food stays fresh. And Roy is taking it upon himself to get updates. So hopefully, if it works too much longer, we'll be able to get the equipment in here and get you taken care of. Okay. Well, I'm thankful if you can get it fixed. <laughs> We're trying. As Roy is saying, hopefully you can get it fixed. This is his backyard here where they are working. You heard the workers say, yeah, we're trying right now. And We Energy's crews are hoping to get the entire area restored by 11 o'clock. As you heard, there's fewer than 2,000 right now. But certainly it's tough sledding for the last bunch that still have to be hooked up. Reporting live here in Brookfield, Nick Ford, WISN 12 News.